Welcome to Ever Public Schools, what every parent needs to know, what to do about bullying. My name is Matt Bennett, I'm principal of Gateway Middle School. Uh, this video is part of the presentation series, What Every Parent Needs to Know, a part of Ever Public Schools Parent University. So what to do about bullying is part of a series and presentations on how families can support their students in the Ever Public Schools. So what we'll cover today is uh, what is bullying, what the law says, uh, signs that your student is being bullied, what to do if your student is a bully, uh, the importance of a bystander, and then the steps in reporting. So bullying can be a difficult topic and it's one that uh, families or students or schools um, might have difficulty talking about, but it's not something that we want to ignore. Um, not talking about it and not addressing bullying can make the situation worse. Um, particularly because bullying and intimidation can be online or in person and can greatly affect a student's uh, uh, academic work as well as home life. So looking at the legal definition of harassment, intimidation, and bullying, Washington State law defines student bullying, harassment, or, or intimidation as uh, an intentional electronic written verbal or physical act that um, needs to do one of the or more of the, the following uh, physically harms a student or damages their property, has the effect of substantially disrupting a student's education, uh, or is severe, persistent or per pervasive that it creates an intimidating or threatening educational environment. Uh, this could include hitting, um, name calling, shunning or shaming, spreading gossip, uh, making threats online or in person. Um, all of these are examples of forms of bullying. So it's important to define what bullying is not. So bullying is a repeated act. Um, something that happens only once is not an example of bullying. Um, that doesn't mean that it was the right thing for um, that student to do. Uh, we, we wanna be clear with that. Um, just because something isn't legally labeled bullying doesn't mean that it's something that the school doesn't wanna take um, action on. Um, so if there was some sort of an accident and the person wasn't intentionally causing harm, um, it might not fall into bullying. However, um, aggressive behaviors need to be addressed um, and uh, we treat those differently than bullying, but we still follow up. So what about cyberbullying? Cyberbullying follows similar guidelines in the definition of bullying. Uh, it's critical to help our students understand the implication of using social media, YouTube, chat, um, or any other ele electronic resource um, so that they know that once they've posted something, they should assume that it will be there forever. So other examples could be um, rumors on social media sites, um, using a password or other identifying information to, to um, get into an account to impersonate someone, um, sharing embarrassing photos, uh, videos, et cetera, um, or uh, any, any sort of um, threat. Cyberbullying is particularly hard for parents to see because students don't necessarily want to talk about it. Um, and it might not be easy for parents to see um, exactly what all the posts are and social media and, and those pieces that students are exposed to. Um, so um, particularly harmful is that 24 hours a day, cyberbullying can help, goes to a large audience very quickly um, and often could be impossible or um, very hard to delete and get rid of. So whether your student has been a victim of bullying or not, it is important to teach them how to take action um, by encouraging them not to engage with the bully, uh, blocking the bully on websites or by phone, uh, taking screenshots or saving the proof to make a report, uh, and then letting a trusted adult know whoever that happens to be for that student. So if your student is being bullied uh, and they don't feel safe at school, we want to address those. Um, so often students don't easily volunteer uh, information about being bullied. Uh, but what you wanna watch for is um, big changes to your student's um, attitude uh, or a change in their activities uh, or withdrawing from what normally brings them happiness. Uh, we're here to support you. Student safety is our top priority and we work with families to investigate issues and develop safety plans on how to support our students. Um, we can also help you make a decision on how to proceed, whether this incident was school related or not. So your students uh, teachers, counselors, administrators are here to work with you to talk through these, take anonymous reports, and then uh, make the best decision on how we, we move forward. 
So of note, student behavior varies widely between school and home um, and often in the community when there uh, isn't a supervised adult presence. Um, it's important to note that any student could exhibit behaviors uh, as that as a bully. Um, it's not a restricted to a single gender um, or a single situation, uh, but often a bully um, has experienced bullying before. Uh, and so those are the times we want to dig in to really get to the bottom of what the problem is. So talk with your child to understand why they're exhibiting this behavior. Um, very often bullies have also been the target of bullying, uh, and that is their way of um, trying to work through that situation. So if you believe your student is bullying others, always great to get in contact with the school, um, but reach out to one of us and, and let us talk about how can we repair or restore relationships uh, and try to um, improve the situation that your student's actions could have hindered. Uh, also encourage you to talk to your student's doctor or mental health professional um, if there's not progress um, in a, a student response to uh, those bullying behaviors. Uh, if your student witnesses bullying, um, sometimes they don't even know who the bully are or who the bully is or who the victim um, is, or um, sometimes they do. But a bystander is anyone who watches or witnesses bullying in any form, could be a person um, could be online, etc. Um, sometimes it helps when the bystander um, can help stop the bullying, um, but that's not always the case if they feel unsafe. We don't want students to uh, intervene in a situation that makes them feel unsafe, um, but in all circumstances, we do ask that those situations be brought to the attention of adults at the school. So, uh, of note that um, Everett Public Schools maintains a safe and respectful and secure environment, and it's our responsibility to ensure that that's free from harassment, intimidation, and bullying. It goes into those core values um, that of our commitment to value differences among people and treat one another respectfully. Uh, we follow state uh, law as well as school board uh, policy and procedure in taking reports and dealing with potential harassment, intimidation, or bullying. We can make available to you on request this HIB reporting form. Um, you don't have to necessarily fill out this form to report it, uh, but this is one place you can start uh, referencing the school board policies and procedures. By visiting the Everett Public Schools website, you can get up-to-date information on the district and schools, as well as who to contact if you have questions. The Everett Public School District is committed to providing quality educational services to all students and their families. Parents and guardians are essential partners with the schools in our mission to educate our children. This presentation was made possible by the Everett PTSA Council and Washington Family Engagement. Thank you.